All right, welcome back. This week, the NCAA tournament gets underway, and today is Selection Monday. Less than an hour ago, we found out who the Gonzaga women are playing, and that is Stanford in the first round. Yesterday was Selection Sunday. We learned the men's team will play the University of North Carolina Greensboro this Thursday at 1020 in the morning, mm -hmm. and that game happens in Boise. It will air live on TNT. Crumb 2 Sports Director Darnay Tripp is live from Gonzaga University with the women's reaction to their selection about 45 minutes ago. Yeah, we talked about it with the men yesterday. It's the same story with the Gonzaga women. A ninth year out of 10 seasons, they made it to the NCAA tournament. Uh, of course, this year again, winning the WCC championship and they are on their way. Joined by Laura Stockton, you've been around for a few of these. How much fun is it when you finally see what's ahead of you again? Um, it's so fun. Uh, we're obviously really excited. Every year, you know, you want to win conference and then you want to get here. And then once we get here, we're looking to win some games. So. Um, it's really awesome just to see uh, how far we've come um, and now we're here and um, we're just really excited. I'm sure anxious to get back on yeah. the floor. Last game was on Tuesday. You know it's ahead of you Saturday at Stanford. What comes to mind when you saw their name on the screen right next to yours as well? Um, we're excited. Uh, they're familiar to us. Um, a couple of us have um, had the opportunity to play against them, you know, throughout our years here. Um, and so uh, we're excited. I think it's a great matchup for us. and. Um, get to go to some sunny weather, so no complaints there. <laughs> Palo Alto, of course, not a bad place to go, and you didn't mention it, so I will. You guys, of course, went there last year, got a win 68-63. Jill Barta had 26 points. What does that do for you going into this game? Obviously a top-notch opponent, but one you have some favorable history against. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, obviously, anytime you can get a win against a team like that, uh, it, it brings your confidence up, and uh, we have another chance to go at them, and we have a lot of those same pieces that we did last year. Obviously, um, some have graduated, but um, we have a lot of our core players back, and so I think uh, we're all ready to go. We know what it's going to take to, to beat them. Talk about knowing what it's going to take. What have you learned through your years uh, in terms of what the team needs to do to be primed and ready, especially when you talk about that layover? It's going to be about a week and a half until you play that game. What does it take to have success this time of year? Um, you know, it's, it's all about who's going to play tougher and um, who's going to work together. Uh, it's March, so... You know, the team that comes out and, and wants it more usually comes out on top. And um, uh, we know that's not going to be an individual effort that's, you know, going to win uh, the game. So all of us coming together and um, finding each other, working together, and, and, and playing for each other is going to be really huge for us. You guys are in the Lexington region. It's the 13th seed. Stanford, of course, the fourth seed. Everybody knows there's a Spokane region as well. They're going to be playing the games the following weekend. Uh, back in 2015, you guys had a chance, of course, uh, to play after w getting a couple wins. Any disappointment in not having that opportunity? Obviously, a ton of work to do mm -hmm. before you get to that point. Yeah. But would it have been nice to kind of have that you know, light at the end of the tunnel, perhaps? Of course, yeah, we would have loved it. Um, you know, we have the, some of the greatest fans ever, <laughs> and so I know they would have they would have showed out for us. Um, but you know, we got to take care of business wherever we go, and I think um, we're just excited to be in the tournament and have an opportunity. Um, to go out and play some more basketball. You guys obviously have been taking care of business uh, since mm -hmm. December. I think it was the ninth. Since then, one loss. Uh, you guys have been on such a roll. How confident are you about your team now going into this tournament? Um, we're super confident. Uh, we're playing some of the best basketball that we have all year long, and hopefully to keep, uh, we, we want to just keep riding that into the tournament. You guys are shaking things up in the tournament in the past. Hope to see you do it again. Uh, Laura Stockton, again, uh, thanks for your time. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Send back to you guys in the studio. I think darling. they're going to do great. They're a fun team. <laughs> they are. And what a time to be a Zag, right? Both teams headed the tournament. Yeah. Exciting time for sure. And I love what she said about the Spokane fans that right. support that team because mm -hmm. they are crazy mm -hmm. watching Zag's uh, women's basketball. Yep. Yep. Dedicated mm -hmm. for sure. Well, on Wednesday, we will have a Bulldog Madness special for you. We'll help get you ready with fun team stories and analysis before Thursday's game. Join us live from Boise Wednesday night at 7 o'clock for Bulldog Madness. Also time for the March Bracket Challenge. If you fill out and submit a perfect bracket, you could have a chance to win a million bucks. Plus, mm -hmm. if you beat Darnay Tripp's weekly score, you could win two pizzas from Papa Murphy's. That's Tom's favorite. Oh. The local grand prize includes a one-night stay at Northern Quest, a $50 gift card to Epic, and two summer concert tickets. Entering rules are simple. Just head to Krem.com get your brackets in before the tournament begins. We'll be right back.